Hi folks, welcome back. We're here in the city of Henderson on Silverado Ranch Boulevard heading west. And we're approaching the light at Spencer. We're gonna make a right on Spencer so that we can try and me uh, meet up with the um, Interstate 215 again. Trying to get on at uh, Eastern in the 215. That interchange is just a nightmare. It takes forever, the line is just too long. So we're gonna take Spencer here up to Windmill. And Windmill then links up with, and has an interchange there with um, the 215. I'm hoping that that's gonna be a lot easier. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube, a monetized channel, we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. As we can see, this road is a little rough shape. Pretty noisy. It's uncharacteristic for the city of Henderson. The car reads 114 degrees Fahrenheit in this August afternoon. As we approach the light here, it's serene. Serene Avenue. And we finally got the green here at Serene Avenue. There's a huge Walmart and Sam's Club over here on the right. It tends to clog traffic up nicely just west of the Silverado Ranch and Eastern area. As we pass what is Silverado Ranch High School over here on the left. Looks like their football team is out preparing for the season. As we go under the bridge here at uh, Interstate 215, there is no interchange here with Spencer, so just go underneath it and approach the next light here at Pebble. And it's weird, there's Henderson is very, very, there's a lot of people that live here, but there's still wide swaths of land, like the one over here at this corner and the one on the northeast corner here as well that are still undeveloped. And whether that be a function of the economy or not, I'm not sure. We approach a school zone here. They all have that same basic look to them here in this county. Jack Lund Schofield Middle School. There are kids out front, otherwise I'd show it to you. We approach the light here at Wigwam Avenue. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to 1,000 subscribers, YouTube a monetize the channel, then we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. See, it's been mostly, oh, partly cloudy or partly sunny, I guess, depending upon which weather forecaster is making the uh, announcement. Uh, there's a 15% chance of rain is supposed to occur today. And it's supposed to be, uh, that chance is supposed to increase exponentially tomorrow. So uh, hopefully we'll get some rain here. We haven't had any rain since, well, about three weeks ago when Hurricane Hillary came through town. And here is the light at Windmill Lane. And we'll make the left here on the windmill. And the 215 should be right here right up there. I see a lot of traffic heading the other way. They've got windmill under construction, it looks like, both ways here. Back behind us. As we head on the 
15 West. that are already turning left. You see the stratosphere, and to the right of the stratosphere is actually the tower, the main tower for Las Vegas, Las Vegas International Airport. And your rental car return, for those of you who have come down here and rent a car, that's going to be right here off of Warm Springs Road at the 215. So keep that in mind when traveling here. Interstate 15, if we can get there. I know that they've got a whole bunch of construction up here, so we may end up having to take some surface streets in order to get over there. Because we do not want to go back towards Henderson US Highway 95, because that's all, like, all under construction. <laughs> the whole town's under construction, as are just about every town in this country. <laughs> Heading 215 west here, which is curved to head back naturally west after a short north to south stint. It's like a blowout on that. I think that's a skyline. Boulevard and Interstate 15 both run very closely parallel to one another as we get cut off. It's weird, you try and keep your safe following distance, they tell you, and uh, just it's virtually impossible. People will jump in front of you every time. So then you tailgate and then you get in trouble for that. So. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Also like and follow us on TikTok as well. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok, which is a little more daunting a task, but uh, we'll keep working on it, plugging away. Let's see the Las Vegas Boulevard exit here. That is, of course, the Las Vegas Strip, also known as the Las Vegas Strip. There's uh, the interchange up here for Interstate 15. Of course, Interstate 15 is a major interstate. goes all the way from L.A. all the way up to the border with Canada. They're in Montana. And we're going to follow the bends that just cut me off. So it seems to uh, have the answer to what we're looking for right now. And that is northbound on Interstate 15. On the weekends, I would not recommend making or trying to take this route. It gets very backed up here. We're going to try it here. the exit for Russell Road and Frank Sinatra Drive. Fra Frank Sinatra Drive is actually a very convenient little uh, parallel path to Interstate 15 as well as the Las Vegas Strip. It, um, it's the one that most of the cab drivers use to avoid the strip. As we attempt to merge here on this access road with Interstate 15 northbound.
chain smokers have a residency here at the wind as advertised there on that billboard US Highway 95 is forecast to be 16 minutes ahead. We will see how accurate that forecast is as we slow down for traffic. The key here is going to be to try and get as far over to the left as possible because those lanes are not going to be the ones trying to jump off the interstate and onto the strip. As the strip, of course, is maybe a quarter mile just east of here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the left lane here. As the Allegiant Stadium is coming into view over here on the left, that is of course the home of the Las Vegas Raiders NFL football team and the UNLV Rebels NCAA football team. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok as we take in the site of Allegiant Stadium. Along with SoFi Stadium in... LA, I believe these are the two newest stadiums, although I know Buffalo just got approved to build a new stadium for the Bills in Buffalo, New York. Traffic always slows down here right at Tropicana, and they're doing what they're calling Tropicana, wherein they're uh, dropping the roadway around Tropicana to create a new interchange. At Tropicana. Okay, now I didn't get back behind this guy again. Thought maybe the other lane was moving, but it's not. As we take in a pretty good shot here, the LED screen on the side of Allegiant Stadium. And again, just a quick reminder if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. As we pass by the home of the Las Vegas Raiders NFL football team and UNLV Rebels NCAA football team. And of course, countless concerts and other events that they hold there. sign said that the left lane is closed up ahead, so that might be contributing to the slowdown here. I think 16 minutes a little bit ago for the on the message board might have been a little optimistic, but we'll see. As you can see the strip there coming into view, and Allegiant Stadium there on the west side of Interstate 15. Frank Sinatra Drive is closed, so perhaps that's not a good route to take for anyone to take because you can't take it right now. But when it's open, it is usually a very good route. It's much quicker than trying to take the strip, the Las Vegas Boulevard strip. As we go under the underpass here, overpass at uh, Hacienda Avenue, home of the former home of the Hacienda Cas Casino that was located there at uh, Hacienda and Las Vegas Boulevard. If you here at the south end of the strip, there's Excalibur and the Luxor to its right, to the right of the Excalibur in this shot. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. Trying to approach the interchange here with um, Tropicana. And uh, this message board just ahead here says there's a... This lane is closed, right? And now it says only seven minutes to US 95. We will ascertain the veracity of that statement. And again, just to slow down because people can't merge. You can kind 
kind of see the mess there that is uh, Tropicana East. It's just so backed up over there, and they got this construction here, and you can see the bridge is not complete. There, it's kind of still cut off as they continue rebuilding it. There's T-Mobile Arena, home of the NHL champion, Las Vegas Golden Knights. So we take in Vidara and City Center. Over here on the right, Aria, Bellagio, Panorama Towers, and the Martin condo over here on the left. As we approach the bridge here at Harmon. Cirque du Soleil. Signboard there, outside Bellagio. Temperature on the cars now says 122, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. As we look at uh, Caesars. And we are not allowed to get into the HOV lane because we are not double occupancy at this time. Area 15 over here on the left with the Omega Mart and Meow Wolf. Both very popular places from what I've read. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, they will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. Cannot seem to get away from this F-150. He just uh, always seems to be a step ahead of us. Not that I'm in any race at all. But he seems to know what he's doing as far as uh, picking the right lane. And when I say right, I mean correctly. As we approach the exit here at Sahara Avenue, another major east-west artery. Traverses the entire county, or the entire metro, Las Vegas metro, I should say. And you can see a good look there at the traffic down on the other side, heading southbound. They have the uh, metered lights going on and off and the on-ramps here. As we approach downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street and the uh, Fremont Street Experience, as well as the major interchange here with US Highway 95 slash US Highway 93 slash US, I'm sorry, Interstate 515 slash could be even called Interstate 11. At any rate, uh, US 95 does travel all the way from the Mexican border all the way up to Canada. You can see the HOV lane completely empty over there. Both express lanes are completely empty until just now. People living all over town here, HOV lanes don't really make a whole lot of sense because it's going to be, you'd have to go to the other end of town to pick up your co worker and then drive all the way back in order to go, uh, go to work. So. Highly problematic. I know there's a uh, government official in Carson City right now, our state capital, who is uh, vehemently advocating for elimination of the HOV lanes. Because the carpooling just isn't happening. 
it's been about two or three years, maybe more than that, maybe four years now that they've been doing the uh, HOV lane here. But again, it's such a, a, a such a, a spread out town with such sprawl. It just just doesn't make much sense. It's very rare you're going to find two co-workers who live in the exact same part of town. If you do, that's terrific, but it's not very common. As we look at the World Market Center here on the right, here in downtown Las Vegas, and this interchange is downtown Las Vegas as we look at Interstate 15. The signs here that show all the different ways you can go this interchange. Um, this really merged over here on the left side, so that's naturally going to slow things down here. You can either head north on 95 towards Reno over there, or south on 95 towards Phoenix. And of course downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street. to my right. I'm not going to be able to show it, but uh, it is pretty well backed up, as is always the case. And of course they have that construction over there by Flamingo on the east side of town, so that's going to really slow things down for folks. As we see some heavy trucks attempting to merge onto the roadway here, we're looking for uh, the Washington Avenue exit of just up here on the right. That's the only reason we're sitting in this lane. And just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you who are international, Canada, UK, Australia, India. We see you and we thank you. get over. And we're going to make this left here onto D Street, D as in Delta. Looking back here, you can see Fremont Street back that way. We're going to continue north on D Street here as we quickly approach what is the city of North Las Vegas. And we got the green here, so we're going to go ahead and <laughs> travel about a hundred feet to Washington Avenue where the light is now red. Take a look at some of the neighborhoods here along Washington. Just north, you're mere steps away from uh, downtown Las Vegas and Fremont Street. And this is what's this is what's known as or called the historic West Side. There was talk of putting up a casino in here to honor and commemorate the historic west side, but uh, I haven't heard anything more about it in a while, so not sure if that's going to happen or not. But this area has been here for a long time. There's a whole bunch of more information available online if you want to Google it and uh, look at the history of the historic west side here in Vegas. try to bring it here and now. <laughs> Give folks an idea of what it looks like now.
And just a quick reminder, if you like or see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. You can see some apartments over here. And then a Baptist church over here on the right. More apartment units. We have the storm drain slash speed hump dual function at each intersection here. So we stop here at Jackson Avenue. Some more residences. As we approach what is Owens, eastbound it's called Harrison, westbound it's called Owens, but it's primarily Owens. Got the green here at Harrison slash Owens, there's a tire shop over there on the left. Primo Tires. Maybe Cousin Tires. Like some single family residences we are coming into here. Off of D Street. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube monetized channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. As we head through this school zone right now, drops us to 15 miles an hour. And we're gonna make the left here onto Alexander Avenue. Lake Mead Boulevard being the next light up there. As we uh, look at homes here. There's more single family residences here in North Las Vegas. Missionary Baptist Church, right there on the right. And we're going to make the left, I'm sorry, the right here. And go up to Lake Mead Boulevard. You can see these apartments all numbered here on their, on their roofs. As we sit here at the light at Lake Mead and H Street, H for Hotel. that car just completely fly through the red light there. As we are now westbound on Lake Mead Boulevard. West Las Vegas Art Center over here on the left. As we're approaching a school zone. And LaSalle Street. ahead of school release. The release 
face of the students on the left side of the street or south side of the street here on Lake Mead it is J Street on the north side it's Concord Street J as in Juliet and we get the turn signal here so let's Ready to make sure we don't see any kids. City of Las Vegas, Doolittle Community Center, it says there. As we are on J Street. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube, a monetized channel, and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. Kianga Isoki Palacio Park, City of Las Vegas. Park over here that we just mentioned. And again, we do slip, uh, split these videos up, break them up into smaller video segments. As we pass what is Matt Kelly Elementary here on the left, and Doolittle Avenue. And we split them up into little videos called Shorts, YouTube Shorts on YouTube. That is YouTube's answer for TikTok. So if you're seeing this as a smaller version or a short on YouTube, please do check out the library for the longer version. We do post all of the long versions of these videos. And uh, maybe just uh, let it play in the background on your YouTube, your Roku TV or your Fire TV, Apple TV. While you're cleaning the house or working on your car. As we approach the light here at Owens again, we're heading back south and clearly see the uh, stratosphere stretching up from behind the buildings in the distance. And we reapproach what is known as the historic west side here in Las Vegas. Liquor store over here on the left. Rather sparsely populated uh, shopping center there actually. As so we continue our journey down these letter streets here in North Las Vegas. center there just in front to the right of the Strat in the distance there as we approach Madison Avenue and another school. This one looks like it might be a middle school. We come up back up here to the light at Washington Avenue. Buildings over here on the right, Marble Manor, it's named over there. Getting the light here, looking back on Washington that way. Here on the historic west side, West Morgan Avenue. See the neighborhood in there. Car says it's 126 degrees. And again, I know that a lot of people don't like to hear that, but <laughs> that's what the car says. I'm just the messenger. 
as we make the left here. See an empty lot here, just on the northwest side of the interchange there with um, Interstate 15 and US Highway 95. We call it US Highway 95 for the sake of brevity, of course. See some more homes here. And again, just steps away from what is Fremont Street over here on the historic west side. As we come back towards H Street Hotel. Very windy day today. And there was supposed to be a cloud, uh, a 50, 15 percent chance of rain today. That has not materialized at this point. Hoping to see that at some point, but not yet. We approach G Street here. See some more of the homes here on the historic west side, and F Street. And again, this is mere steps away from Fremont Street. F as in Foxtrot. And just a quick reminder, if you'd like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it when you get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. As we reapproach the interchange here, looking on Washington Avenue here, just west of Interstate 15. And we get the green light here to go north on Interstate 15. Looks like there's a salvage yard right there at the uh, corner that we just turned away from. The traffic meter is not on, so that's a good sign. Of course, there's no traffic on the on-ramp right now as it is. We have a bunch of videos of uh, junkyards and salvage yards on our channel on YouTube and on TikTok. The, all in, um, all off of Nellis, Nellis Boulevard, I should say. Lake Mead. I think we're merging, but there's no sign that said we were merging. That's a very interesting configuration. As we continue here on I-15 northbound, approaching and exiting here at Lake Mead Boulevard. I-15 again, I'll take you all the way up to the Canadian border. All the way up in Montana. Make a right onto Lake Mead here. See a lot of the garbage trucks here making a left. They're all headed back to their uh, headquarters. They're stable, if you will. And we just got the green here at Lake Mead Boulevard. We're going to head east on Lake Mead for a little ways. the heart of what is North Las Vegas. City of North Las Vegas. And this is now North Fifth Avenue here. And we are on the eastbound side. See the traffic over there that is on North 5th Avenue. 
as it crosses both east and westbound that are split up by this large median in between. Some of the apartments here, right on the corner. You can see some clouds out there, but uh, again, no rain. I haven't seen any rain yet. Well, the clouds tend to be on the periphery of the valley, at least they seem to be for today. And we just got the green here at 5th, North 5th in North Las Vegas. Rec World Outdoor Power Equipment. North Las Vegas, their road signs are blue, kind of like uh, LA in that regard. I believe they're blue in LA as well. Welcome to friendly North Las Vegas. Sign welcomes folks. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get over into this lane. But we're not turning onto Las Vegas Boulevard North. Also known as the Strip, of course, but not up in this part of town. The strip officially ends right about north of the Strat, and then it becomes. Um, And then you have to wait about a mile and a half, I think it is, until you get up to Fremont Street. And they don't really call the strip the strip there. Look at that, you can see an old Arby's sign here in North Las Vegas. That's rare, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. As we pass North Vista Hospital, also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. As we come up to the light here at McDaniel. A lot of shopping venues on both sides here in North Las Vegas, right here on the major artery, Lake Mead Boulevard. Civic Center, which is also known as Eastern Avenue, but up here in North Las Vegas, it changes, <coughs> excuse me, it changes identities <clears throat> and becomes Civic Center Drive. Passing Webster and Daly. These roads are in uh, pretty bumpy condition here. Vegas here. Approach Picos. Picos again, major north-south, but it's not contiguous. It gets broken up in different parts around town. Actually merges with uh, McLeod at one point. Apartments with a V. Passing Sandy. So we've got some newer homes here on the left, north side. As we pass Walnut, 